Hello guys, today we're going to talk about players attributes. This is Trophy Manager Tips and here I am with one more video. My name is Alan and I hope you guys are doing fine. This is the players page, which you should be used to by now. Let me open the profile of a player. Here you can see this player's profile. At the top here we have his name, his shirt number, his position. Some players have dual position like him, other players have only one position. This is the most they can have, they can have not more than two positions. Here if you want to change, choose the other player, you can come here. Okay. Then we have the club name, in this case it's my name, but if it has a player from other, uh, from a different team, it will be other team's name here. You can see his age, here you see the height and the weight, but this information, as far as I know, doesn't change, doesn't interfere anything in the game, okay? So don't worry about it, it's just there, but it doesn't count for anything. This is his wage, it's what he gets every week. I have to pay this amount for him. His recommendation, okay. Um, his recommendation is, we can say it's like the quality of the player. The higher his recommendation, the higher, the better he is, but it's not always like this. There are exceptions, but to simplify, you can understand like this, the better the recommendation, the better the player. This is the skill index. This is an index which is attributed to the player based on his skills. The more skills a player has, the more, the higher skill index you have. In the case of the skill index, it doesn't mean that because the player has a high skill index that he is good, because it only only accounts for the amount of skills the player has, the number of points in the skills. Understand? So the skills may be badly distributed in the wrong places, in skills that the player doesn't need, but his skill index will be still high. Understand? So if you want to check the quality of the player, the recommendation is a better indicative than the skill index. Here's the status. In this case, this player is under ban risk. If he gets one more yellow card, he's gonna be absent for the next match. Okay, if he was suspended for a red card, for example, it would be red here. If he was injured, there will be information here. So this is the status. And we have the routine. The routine is the experience of the player. The more matches the player plays, the more routine he gains. The higher is gonna be the routine, okay? For league and cup matches, for national league and cup matches, the player gets 0.1 per match. For international matches, it can be 0.2 or 0.3. If he is playing the biggest international competition in the region, it's 0 0.3. If it's the secondary competition, it's 0 0.2. And if the player plays uh, for the national team, he gets 0 0.4 of routine per match. But it only accounts for official matches. For friendlies, it doesn't count. Friendlies for the club or for the national teams don't give any routine to the player. The effect of this routine in the player is on his skills. Based on the routine, his skills increase. Here you cannot see how much his skills increased, but when I turn on the script, you can see the script shows the effect of the routine in the player. The skills here are self-explaining, I think. I don't need to go into details of any of them. I think all of you can understand what is passing, heading, technique, so I'm not gonna go into details. I will just make a quick mention about stamina because this skill it starts affecting the players after the minute 60. Okay? After the minute 60, according to the stamina of the player, the skill of the players decrease in a specific percentage. I should make a video in the future talking just about how this skill influences the player after the minute 60. Or maybe I just explain a bit about it when I'm talking about tactics, I will see what I will do. But in case you guys want to understand more about each of these skills, you can go to the user guide here. Then go to advanced and player skills, yes. 
Then here you just read this whole page, you can see the explanation of each of these skills, okay? For players and for the goalkeepers too, you have down here, okay? You just check it out and you can better understand each of them. Below here we have the hidden skills, which are injury proneness, professionalism, aggression and adaptability. This one's like, this is a pro feature. You have to spend pro days if you want to buy it. For example, for this player, I didn't, I didn't make it available. But if I want it, I should click here. Then I have to pay two pro days, okay? But I'm, I don't want it for this player. Then I can see here, if you don't have pro to spend, you have other possibilities. For the professionalism and for the aggression, the scout can tell you. As I told you in the video about scouts, the scouts give you, the, give you this information. Okay, if you didn't watch the video about scouts, it's gonna be here in the cards and you can check. Okay, I explained uh, more about this in that video. For the injury, injury proneness and the adaptability, the scouts don't tell you, but you can find out after you put the player to play. To play. The injury proneness is how often he will get injured so after you play the player for many, many games, you can have an idea whether he has high injury proneness or not. And the adaptability is how well the player plays when he's out of his position. For example, if I put his player, this player to play as a left back, for example, it's not his position. So if he has high adaptability, he will still play anyway. Based on his skills, he will play better. But he has, if he has low adaptability, even if his skills are good for the position, he will play badly because of this. Okay, let me open the profile of a player in which I have this displayed and you can see how it is. This one, for example. For this one, I paid for that. And then you can see here, like injury proneness low, aggression lowest, professionalism medium and adaptability highest. Okay. And if I put my marker here, I can see the degree, like 19 out of 20. It's almost 2020. So it means that I can put this player to play in any position and he will get practically no decrease. If it was 2020, he would have no decrease. Then I could play him wherever I want. And this player, if you look at him for the level of my team now for the second division, he's not good enough to be in my lineup, in my first lineup. But he is a great sub because he has 19, 20 of adaptability and he has skills to be played in any position except for a striker. For a striker, he wouldn't be so good. But for any other position, I can play him. Okay, as a winger, as a midfielder, see? As a left back, if I want, he has some speed too. So he's a great suit because of this skill he has. Okay, for the other ones, it's the same. You can put the marker here, you see, the degree. Here, about the names, they also have five levels, which is low, lowest, medium, high, or highest. If you remember the video about scouts, the scouts also qualify like this, in a scale between one and five, where five is the best, okay? The advantage that you have here is that besides this one to five scale, you can have another one to 20 scale too, okay? Which is more accurate, more precise. Then we have these skills here. Not skills, but this information here on the right side. Set asking price in case you want to determine a price for the player, for other clubs to see how much you would accept to, to put this player on the transfer list. If you just put a price here and click save, any club which is inter interested can bid on this player, then you receive a message asking if you agree with the amount and the player goes to the transfer list. If you check this box, as soon as the club makes the bid, the player will automatically go to the transfer list without your approval, okay? That's the difference. Then we have reject all bids. If you don't want anyone to bother you about this player because you don't want to sell him anyway, you can save this option. Transfer this player if you want to sell the player. For now, I'm just going to show you the screen because that is some information to talk about here, but I should talk it about it in a future video when I talk only about transfers, okay? But this is what you see. 
This is to transform this the player. You can fire the player. I showed before how to do it, but basically you click that and you click fire. Then you have other options. You can add a note for a player. For example, let's suppose you want to, to control his training. To say when we're, we're gonna change the training to one or to other plan, you can write the notes here and save. And then they will be here for you. Okay. See? And if you want to remove, just delete. All of this is free, these features. But when you get here, player nickname, you can give a nickname to your player if you want, but you have to pay. It costs five pro days. Okay. You can change the player's position. You can select two positions for the player, except for goalkeeper. You cannot put a player to play as goalkeeper. But any other position you can select. Okay, but it also costs pro, 100 days pro. Sometimes they have promotion in each, instead of 100, it costs 25 days pro. Okay, so if you want to change player's position and you can wait, I would recommend you to wait for such promotions. Okay, usually it's worth to change a player based on his skills. Sometimes he has a position, but his, his skills makes him much better in other position. Then you have here compare players. If you want to compare him with any other player in the team, for example, let's pick this one, which is also a defender. This is my best defender, actually. And you can see in which skills he is. Uh, here I have my script act activated. Let me deactivate it first. So then you can see the comparison in which player, in which skills one is better or the other one is better. You can compare the routines, see, the wages, the age. You can compare this information for the player. In this page, I have the script that it gives me a bit more of information. Besides showing me the basic stuff, it also allows me to add the routine, routine bonus. For example, this player has this routine and this one has this routine. If I click this option, add routine bonus, then I can see his real skill. See, like before, he had 18 in this skill. But when I add the routine, he, has, he actually has 20.37. Understand? The other guy also gets a plus for the routine. Okay? And this is the comparison. For example, Jaime has two, two points more than Pedrag in this skill. But he has less 4.29 in this other skill. Understand? You can see this comparison. Let's continue back there in the page. And here you have the mode player. If you have a B team, as I do, you have this option. You can click here and send the player to the B team. Since he is old, he uh, has a good quality, he's probably not going to accept. See, when I click here, he doesn't accept to go for the reserve teams. It can happen, okay? But this is where you choose to demote the player to the B team. Finally, you have the last section here, which is player info, in which you see this is the history of the player in, in his life the league, in each group, in the teams he played, okay, you have the statistics for his career too. Then you have the scout reports, we talked about it in the videos about scouts, so I will not repeat everything, okay. This is the scout reports. If you want to check it out, the, check the video about scouts, the card is going to be here again. Then we have training, I will make some videos only about training. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about it now, but this is how you control the customized training. Okay, could be the basic training too, if you select this option. Here we have some graphs. All of them you need to be pro. This one, it's free when you have pro. If I have pro days, I can see this graph, which is his training intensity for his whole career. The other graphs, even with pro, I cannot see. I have to buy one by one. For example, if I want this one, I can buy for one pro day, okay? It should be the same for all the others. One pro day each graph. And if I want to make all available at the same time, it costs four pro days. Makes sense, right? One, two, three, four graphs, yeah. Okay, each graph is about one aspect of the player. Now let me activate the script. Just show you guys how the page is, looks like when the scripts are activated. So 
So now you can see some extra information. I'm not gonna go through all of them because it's a lot of data and it's about a specific script. If you guys want, I can make a video only talking about this script, which may be one of the most complete I know. Just tell me in the comments if you guys want that, then I can talk about this additional information, okay? I will just mention about this R5, which is something we use a lot nowadays. It's similar to the recommendation. The difference is that this R5, it takes this recommendation, it takes the primary skills more into account. Okay, so if the player is five stars, he has a lot of skills, but also he has skills in his in the correct positions. Okay, this R5 is basically the same thing, but it gives even higher, how can I say, higher weight to the primary skills, to most important skills. Okay, so usually the R5 is a better indicator of the quality of a player than a recommendation. Okay. Sometimes you may see a player with recommendation 4.5 who has a R5 higher than other player with recommendation 5. Understand? The R5 also takes into consideration the routine of the player. The R5 considers the player skills with the routine applied. The recommendation no. The recommendation considers the skills, the raw skills, without the routine applied. This is the difference. Understand? But if you guys want, let me know in the comments and I can make a video discussing more about this script. That's all for this video, guys. If you have any comments or questions about the video, please write in the comment section below. If you have doubts about any aspect of the game, write it down as well and I will do my best to help you out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.